going to get a lot of criticism for that. But the fact of the matter is, you, you don't talk about 9-11 being an inside job with our country being the most treacherous, you know, publicly treacherous that you can imagine, killing 3,000 of our own people and then using that as an excuse to kill millions overseas. Millions. We talk about 3,000 as, oh, that's such a big number of Americans. Oh, that's so terrible. How about millions and millions of Arabs dead because we want to control their natural resources. We don't want to pay them fairly for it. You know, and from my point of view, I don't care who I pay for my gas. I don't care if I give an Arab money. I don't care if I give a Chinese man money. I don't care if I give a Wall Street man money. As long as I can have the gas at a reasonable price. And the fact of the matter, for us to allow our military and all of our you know, wealth, our tax money, to be funneled into the cause of enriching the top elite at the expense of the people all around the world who have to die, that should be so immoral and shockingly immoral that nobody would have ever let it happen. Anyway, we don't have anybody talking about social problems. We don't have anybody, how about, here's a simple thing to demand in Portland. How about city sponsored and paid for and maintained toilets on every corner downtown and maybe around other areas too? There are no toilets for those 10,000 homeless that live in this city and we shuffle them under bridges and we hide them in non, you know, areas that don't have big stores. We hide these homeless people. We, we, we have a camp, a homeless camp out there by 33rd near Columbia River. And that's because nobody goes by there. Nobody sees them. It's okay to put them there. They should be in your face. Nobody else should be able to go to bed in a nice warm bed until everybody goes to bed in a nice warm bed. Nobody should be able to eat food and have a full stomach until everybody has a full stomach. We can do it and it doesn't even cost that much. And it sure isn't a bad thing to do that. You know, they try to demonize it, call it socialism, you communist, you dupe. Well, you know, the, at the level of communism and capitalism, the Cold War conflict and all that nonsense that people bring up and throw in your face, those are groups just like 9-11. Uh, it's kind of like a false flag thing. Um, Uh, well, phone call. I'll take the phone call. Just in time, saved by the phone. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I've been on I, a rant. I, I had a question about um, <laughs> how do you think uh, the 9-11, um, you know, the inside job thing that you're proposing helps uh, the Occupy movement? And then the second part of that question is what kind of medication do you take? I have no medication whatsoever. I uh, was on the Oregon health plan. I, I realized that was a facetious, nasty comment, but in fact, that brings up a good segue. I, uh, you know, had to go through this lottery to get on the Oregon health plan because I was, you know, basically destitute. And the first year I didn't place in the lottery, and the second year I didn't place, but the third year I did. And I thought, all oh, right, now I've got health care. Okay, great. Now, keep in mind, I don't have any money, so I go down to the hospital for my first checkup in 30 years. Well, they send me down for a blood test, and it's going to cost 25 bucks. Well, wait a minute. I got health care coverage. No, that only pays a fraction. Sorry. Well, I don't have 25 bucks. I need a, you know, one of those colonoscopies, col you know, the TV camera up where the sun don't shine. That's supposed to be as necessary to men as the mam mammograms are for women to prevent cancer. And that they wanted to charge me $300 for. And I had health care. You know, what good is it if you can't use any of it? I couldn't, use, I couldn't even get preventive health care. Then dental. I got dental with that Oregon health plan. So I say, OK, let's go in and get uh, you know, basic teeth cleaning and check up, and then we'll start making a plan for fixing any cavities. Well, it turns out that they don't cover cleaning. And they don't cover cavities. 
well, what do they cover? Well, I finally went in with a toothache it, where, you know, any other time, if, if you had any money, they would just do a, a root canal, save the tooth, and everything would be fine. But nope, yank it. So for the first time in my life, I have one tooth missing from my head. You know, I, I've, I know there are lots of people that have lots of teeth missing, but those are things that are necessary to your living. You've got to be able to chew. And it, if every time you have a toothache, the Oregon Health Plan says pull the tooth, you know, so what I did is I tore up my health plan and I went down to the health department and I tossed it on the desk and I told them the problem. I said, your health plan does me zero, nothing. And I sure don't need it for emergencies because I get that for free anyway. Okay, go ahead. Let's take another call. Okay, let's take another call. <laughs> All right, I guess I talked too long for him. Okay. Oh, there you are. Go ahead. Hello, Bill. Can you hear me? I sure do. Uh, say, listen, I understand what you're saying. And by the way, I've watched your show for some time. I, I do agree 9-11 was an inside job. Zero question on that. We have our military out of control, uh, dominating countries all over the world. But I think when you talk about socialism, and you're a sharp guy, I think you're missing something here. Yeah, I'd like to see all the things you say come true as well, people having health care and meals and beds. But the fact of the matter is to expect the government, the same corrupt government that's controlled. And you look at our military, it's controlled by the civilian leadership, the elected government. I didn't say we have to have the same government. Well, I, I would have like honest people in my government. I, you know what? That's right. But it just doesn't work that way. We have to get to that point, well, and we're nowhere near that. Hey, wait a minute. We we're, change everything. You and I and everybody we know are steeped in the paradigm of, of capitalism, the two-party system, and there shall be nothing ever different from that. And it's phony, completely. And, well, phony. but I mean, we're conditioned to that, and and when yeah. people say, "Well, there isn't any other," we well, don't know. You know what it is? Is we're not aware yet. But that doesn't mean there isn't any other way to do it. Uh, in fact, there are societies on the planet right now that are doing those things that I talked about. In Venezuela, in, uh, well, in Libya before we bombed the hell out of them. In fact, I'm waiting to see just what happens now that they've changed regimes in Libya. Are they going to get rid of their free health care? Are they going to get rid of their free education? Are they going to get rid of their free housing? Are they going to get rid of the $50,000 that they give any family that has a newborn? Of course they are. And you know they are. And, and that's what we're are. talking about, Bill. We're and talking about a and see, but that's what they called. They said that it was a good thing. We had to go into Libya because they were mis... Gaddafi was misusing the oil profits. Well, what he mean by misusing it was he was setting up funds for development of Africa without the strings that the IMF and the World Bank had. He was making friends all over the northern Africa. He was, he was creating pure water and electricity for places that never had it before. He, you know, he was, uh, let's put it well, this way. Well, Go Bill, you're, you're, not talk, you're not talking about the, the genocidal, you're not talking about the eugenics movement that's controlling the planet right now and expecting them to give us health care and their version <laughs> of socialism, correct? I mean, I, okay, no. I see what you're saying. You're talking about getting rid of this whole bunch of criminals, these banking families that are ruling the world, and having a real legitimate government that Absolutely. looks out after the needs of the I people. mean, look at it this way. The bankers that have been, you know, ripping us off so badly, you know, under no circumstances do they produce anything for our society. Correct. Nothing. Right. And we don't need to support them with every dollar we have. Right. Well, and see, you were, and I understand what you're saying. I, like I say, I know you're a smart guy. It just it was coming across like people I have met on the left, right, and I don't believe in paradigms, who actually believe somehow that you're going to get this current type of government we have, whether it's Democrat or Republican, which is all the same, to somehow give us free health care and take care of us when they're part of the eugenics movement bought and paid for by the bankers. It's not going to happen That's great. with well, what we what have I was, now. What I was going to say earlier is that Russia... Uh, capitalism versus communism paradigm that I started to mention, the bankers financed both sides. They financed Mao and they financed us. Absolutely. And they, you know, so they set up communism, they set up capitalism, and they put them against each other so they could rip us off while yes. we're playing games with each other. Yes. Um, people have to understand that, you know, when when Obama comes out and says, I'm with you, you Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street people, I'm with you, 
well, he's with Wall Street. I mean, everybody in his cabinet's from Wall Street, and they're they're the same people that were in the Bush uh, administration. I mean, from the same banks, the same policies, and and you know, who on this planet is going to think Obama is going to change any of these economic policies? I mean, he's there specifically to foster the financial transfer of wealth to those bankers. He's not there to help anybody else. And, uh, you know, I heard the, the president of the SEIU, who was at the protest and getting arrested and all that, and she was saying, vote for Obama. Vote for Obama. He's our best hope. Crazy. That's absolutely insane. Yeah. Do well, I, I just wanted—I just wanted you to clarify your point, Bill, because I, you know I've listened to you, and I, I know you didn't mean it the way you were saying it, but it came across like you were just expecting government as is to, uh, yeah, to be our, our guardian. I, and I know it, you didn't it, mean it that way. If it worked that way, we would have succeeded with our protests in Vietnam era. That's right. Let's <laughs> hang all these criminals and start over, Bill. Keep there, up the show, and God bless. Go. Right on. Well, uh, well, go ahead, caller. Then. Yeah. Hi. Okay, I wanted to ask you a question, and please uh, think this through for me. Okay. I am a roofer. In other words, I install roofing on people's houses. I'm a physical laborer. Uh -huh. And my wife is also a physical laborer. She repairs machinery. Okay, I own a house. I have a fairly decent car, and my wife has a fairly decent car. And we have a fairly decent life like all of my neighbors. How was I able to do that under this capitalist system is it that do i have some kind of special ability where i can roof people's houses and yet other people can't seem to do as well as me how is that possible well what 80 percent are employed right I, you know i missed that please say that again i said we what are the figures we have 20 percent unemployment that means 80 percent of the people lucked out and got jobs and those are those people are just thankful as hell that they have them and they're not you know it's it's not a, you don't have to give up anything. I'm not, I mean, it's. Yeah, there is 20% employment or more. I would agree with you. They're lying about the figure. But so, but what I, I seem, I think that, I feel that your complaint is that the distribution of income is incorrect. Yeah, absolutely. That, you okay. got that absolutely right. Okay, and there was no that. merit at all to this system of distribution. And I want to remind you that you're not a capitalist. I'm not a capitalist. None of us deal at, with capital at all. We work for a living. That's wage. That's that's not capitalism. Well, what is capitalism then? Capitalism is is using your money on a much much larger scale. Uh, to make money. Without owning that, corporations and owning things like that. Um, well, what system am I laboring under then? How is it that I am able to earn a living? And, and a fair well, you're probably good at roofing. Yes, yes, yes. But what system enables me to do hey, that? Hey, it doesn't. We got. We're going off the air here, but ah. capitalism or communism, it doesn't matter. You'd still be working in the same job. Now, do you think the people in Cuba live as well as us, or the people in the Soviet Union did under their systems of government? Well. Actually, if you look at it now, we're about 20th on the living chart in the industrialized nations. There are